bigger than you. Like I said before, people always want to attach themselves to something bigger. And in order for you to really drill down deep on that purpose, which is going to lead you to really opening up and maximizing your potential reflection is a huge part of that. I remember the first time I really started to kind of sit and think and reflect. I felt like I was dying a slow death because I had to slow down to really like, okay, why do I think these things? Why do I believe these things? Why, why, why? It felt like, oh my gosh, I just want to keep moving. I want to keep going. I don't want to stop and think. But have you ever heard that phrase, you have to slow down to speed up? It's never been more true to me now than ever because in order for me to speed up to know where I need to go, to have focus, intentional velocity in a certain direction, I have to slow down to be like, okay, well, why am I doing this? Or how can I do it better? Or am I really giving it all that I can? Like I said in the beginning, is there more that you can give in your business life and relationships? I would be the differ, yes. The answer is probably yes. And you may be asking yourself, but I don't know how, I don't know where, what does that look like? All of that will reveal itself when you're just married to the vision of I'm gonna do it no matter what. So a big factor of that, like I mentioned here, is your environment, who you surround yourself with. Obviously a great part is being in a room full of leaders today around people who they may have different dreams and visions in you, but they're all like, I'm gonna go after what's inside of me because it's worth it, no matter the cost. Surrounding yourself with people who are gonna promote you, who are going to push you forward, who are gonna speak life into you, is going to be the best thing that you can do for your vision, your business, and what God has called only you to do. Too often we have too many people that are projecting their fears and speaking death over things that need life spoken into. And that's why a lot of entrepreneurs, I believe everybody deep down can be an entrepreneur, but not everybody believes that they have what it takes or has, you know, they don't have the, the resources or they think they don't have the things, but they really do. Because what I've learned about entrepreneurship, it is the best personal development journey. Mm -hmm. It's the best journey of deepening your faith, really digging into why do I want to do this? And when you are getting out there fighting for people's possibilities, are you paving the way as a pioneer while they may be sitting there fighting for their limitations? That takes a certain level of strength from somebody. But up here, we got to win the war in our mind of I'm going to do it no matter what, no matter the cost. Because the minute I say yes to the purpose that God has given me, guess what? The enemy's going to just boom, 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 try to come at you with all the things. It doesn't ever stop. You just kind of look at it at a certain point when you know it's coming. You're like, all right, well, I know I'm in the right space because I see him coming at me really hard right now. And then you just get to keep pushing through. You get to keep pushing through. I've met so many people who've had paralyzed potential because of just the fears, the limitations, the projections of you can't do this onto their kids, onto their spouses. And it only comes from a place of if I can't do it, you can't do it either. Because if I see that you can do it, then I actually need to take real responsibility for my own life and what it is that I'm not doing to, to like really go after the potential that's inside of me. That's really what it is at the end of the day. It takes an awareness to know that. So when you're aware of people projecting on you, of things that aren't supporting you to help you move forward, I've learned to have compassion for those people. So I'm like, wow. First of all, I remember being there, doing that to others, unfortunately, because I didn't realize my true potential myself. Or I felt like, no, like if they go and do this, then what does that say about me? But then I realized this is a terrible way to live. Why don't you just go realize your own potential, go step into that, and then you don't have to worry about anybody else. Because a focused mind is going to focus on what they need to go out and do rather than everybody else around them. And I recently, um, last night actually, I had the absolute honor and privilege of my husband and I, we went out with some friends um, and they are just incredible, incredible leaders in the community. Their obedience to their purpose, their calling and the fruit in their lives is literally, it's so like, it's beyond. It's beyond, beyond, beyond what most people could ever think, dream or imagine. What they're able to do with their time, their money, their resources, their gifts. And last night we learned 
just how much pain they've had to endure from family members saying, you can't do that. Why are you doing that? That's not okay. That's not right. Because of their all their fears and projections. So it comes at a cost. Accessing that potential and stepping into that comes at a huge cost. That's a part of the journey. So you got to surround yourself with people that are going to promote you, that are going to support you. And that will mean separating yourselves or kind of, you know, at an arm's length, pushing people that you love and care about away a little bit. Because if you don't, then what's the cost? You're doing it for them rather than accessing the dreams and reaching that fulfillment that you ultimately want in your life. So in this, as I wrap this up, like in this journey, we're not meant to do it alone. It's up to us to take the action. We'll cross that bridge to get to the other side, but we're not meant to do it alone. We're not meant to, and one of the things that actually can be a lie that we can conjure up is, well, I should know, I should know what to do. I should know what to do. I should know how to get this done. I should dot, dot, dot. Because that pride and ego will come up of, well, I should know how to do this. If they can do it, then I can do it. But we don't see what's behind closed doors because we don't see the mentors that have poured into them, the money that they spent on personal professional development, the just the people around them the early mornings the late nights we don't see that a lot of people don't show that that's the part where it actually really matters what you do behind closed doors not everybody's going to see that not everybody needs to know but you know so being able to press into you know what like who do i have around me what sacrifices am i willing to make in order to be able to really obtain and reach this dream it's going to cost you time it's going to cost you money it's going to cost you probably some relationships at the end of the day. But there are resources out there to really be able to help you press into that. And that's one of the things that I actually get to do today is no, I'm not in the news anymore. Um, I got out of that, thank the Lord, because that's a super toxic environment. And now I get a full time be able to press into women through our digital platform that actually gives them personal, professional and leadership development resources to be able to access their potential be equipped in that and now go out and do. And there's also a business opportunity that's attached to that so they can invite other women to come in and do the same. And that has been having such massive global success because people are so tired of, well, I have this potential that, you know, I'll get to it. They're done with, I'll get to it. It's time right now. Right now, because if not now, then when? And it's been lighting fires around the globe. We're in like 14 different countries in women, because it's specifically women at the moment that the men were like, hey, what about us? And so now we're launching a men's division, pre-launching it this fall, officially kicking it off in 2024. And the center of it all is just being able to help you step into the, the man, step into the woman that God has created you to be. Because so often we allow the world to speak into us who we are, rather than being like, you know what? I already have the authority and now I'm going to step in and get that credibility of I'm going to go do the work. So the last thing that I'll end with, the only thing that separates you from where you are now to where you need to be is a couple things. Four things specifically. Consistency, time, those two things you can't speed up as much as we want to, as much as we want to microwave it rather than having it being an oven bake or slow cooker type of a situation, which that's just what life is. It takes time. It takes consistency showing up. It also takes being able to be coachable, dropping the pride, dropping the ego. How can I go learn from other people who've pioneered before me and pour into me? And then the last one is being a part of a proven system. Whether it's a system that you have on your own or you need to plug into one. Being a part of a proven system to follow the framework to go after what it is that you need. Because there's people who have gone before you that are doing things before you. It's pressing in and reaching out. So I'm excited just to be able to, uh, I know there's time for a question and answer. Hopefully I didn't eat up too much time. So uh, Phoebe or Sage, whoever is in the chat, however you, you all wanna facilitate that. Um, I'm excited to be able just to, to hear and see any questions that you have um, and just to see more people reach their potential because so much potential has just been sitting on ice waiting for the moment. If the world's showing us anything, it's never gonna give us our moment. We have to go out there and take it. So stop waiting for them to give it to you and just go take it, however long that takes. Thank you so much, I'll get it back over to you. Thank you.
for your great wisdom and many pieces of advice. So like Molly mentioned, we're going to go into a short period of Q&A. So if anyone has any questions for Molly, please feel free to raise your hand. She can hear you, so you can just speak up, but I just ask that you raise your voice a little louder um, for her to answer. Yes. What does she major in to become a news anchor? Ace, Ace oh. <clears throat> what does she major in college to become a news anchor? So he asked, what did you major in in college to become a news anchor? So beyond popular belief, when it comes to being a news anchor, um, you can go to school for broadcast journalism. Um, I went to school for broadcasting, and then I actually had to help them create a journalism class because they didn't have it. Um, but that's what I went to school for. However, um, become a great communicator, storyteller, and then being in the news industry really is about just getting your foot in the door. So some of the biggest, like if I were to go back and do it all over again, I definitely would go for communications to be, to learn how to be a great communicator. Um, and then also business. I would have gone in uh, to learn more about business now knowing that I had this entrepreneur inside me all along. So yes, broadcast journalism is what I went to school for to really be able to help um, craft that gift and be able to have people support me in that dream of being a news anchor. Thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for Molly? Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually I don't have a question, but you spoke about oh, four things that um, that's top you. You talk about consistency, time, but I didn't get the third, uh, the third one. Coachable improvement. Can you please explain the third point? What was the third point that you mentioned in terms of, I'm sorry, you said what stops you? Yeah, I mean, she concluded by pointing out four points that, uh, four things that stop you maybe to reach your goals. And she talked about being consistent. She talked about time. The two last one, I didn't really get it clearly. No. Did you hear her? Yes, yes, I did hear her. So coachability. So coachability probably out of all four of them is one of the most important. The reason why is because that's the one that you actually have control over. You don't have, well, you do have control over consistency, whether you want to show up or not. You don't have control over time. And then when it comes to the proven system, the last one that I talked about, that's a matter of do you have a proven system of your own or are you plugging into somebody else's to really be able to go out the way you want? And that's where really mentorship uh, leadership, learning from others comes into play. But I want to, the coachability part, that's the part where a lot of people get hung up because if you ask somebody, are you coachable? Meaning, are you open to learning? Are you open to taking my feedback? Are you open, are you open to be able to, you know, make some uh, adjustments and pivots along the way? Most people would say yes. However, a lot of actions will prove differently because in their mind, they're like, well, I know better. I can do it a better way. I see the way you do it, but I'm gonna to try to do it this way. Um, because that's just, sometimes it's just how we're wired. But when you remain open and coachable, I always like to even phrase it like this, um, even just remaining to be a student. And what can I learn from this person? What can I learn from this situation? How can I grow and be better? Having that type of mindset and attitude towards honestly anything in life, especially for myself, that has served me in my marriage, in my relationships, um, healing past traumas and things in my life, um, especially in business as well. Because we want so bad to kind of be the one to know it all, not have to depend on anybody else, but being a part of this, the journey of, you know, especially when it comes to growing a business is one thing that I've come to learn is you can go faster alone, but you can go further together. And that together means just doing it with other people bringing them into the vision, as well as being able to learn from other people who have gone before you, so they can help bring wisdom, not necessarily shortcuts as much as we want them. Some may be a little shortcuts of, hey, avoid that. That could be not a, a great path to go down. But a lot of it is wisdom, so then you know how to best, you know, put your best foot forward in what it is that you're doing. So does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thank you. So we have about, one more minute for questions. So if anyone else would like to ask Molly a question before we close. Just out of, oh, did someone raise their hand? 
Yep. Oh yeah. I was just gonna say, just out of curiosity, are you still in the health and wellness <coughs> business? That you got fired. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I am not. I am not in that business anymore. Um, I believe the reason why I even got into that is to give me a taste of the. Um, it was a network marketing business. It got me. It gave me a taste of that industry. Okay. Never been in that industry industry before. Never really heard of it. Um, all I heard is that it was a pyramid scheme and a scam. Or yeah. whatever. And then all I realized was, well, wait a second. If I could share something that I love with other people and get paid for it, and I'm seeing results, and I can grow at the same time personally and financially, why wouldn't I? And I know I got brought through that because a part of what our company is now is a network marketing opportunity to be able to give women a platform where they can learn and grow and open up the door for other women to learn and grow and then get paid for that. And money just brings people choices. Yeah. So I'm glad that I got taken, I, I went down that route. Um, I'm definitely a health nut just personally. I love being able to pour in my health physically um, every single day because I think it's important because if you have that discipline and responsibility to take care of your body, it just shows up in so many other areas. Brings clarity, brings stamina, brings strength. Um, yeah, it's super important. So no, I'm not in it, but I'm very grateful that I got introduced for it because that literally set up to create the global company that we have today. So I'm very grateful for a part of that in my journey. Thank you. Barry, you had a question or comment? Your question, um, would you say that communication that's needed for broadcasting, it's kind of similar to marketing that you need for business. Do you see the similarities now that you have your own business? I would say um, they definitely go hand in hand because you can be a great mar uh, marketer. You can put things together. Marketing is a huge topic, by the way, because you could, is it just like written content? Are you speaking? Are you on video? Marketing is massive. Um, but marketing and communication definitely go hand in hand because in order for you to be a good marketer of whatever it is that you're doing, you need to have a, be a, an effective communicator for sure. Um, so that definitely goes hand in hand. So I think everybody should, should be able to master the art of communication, um, having more impact with less words, being a better listener, really being able to drill down deep on their target market of who am I speaking to and how can I speak to them to get them to take action. So um, communication is, is absolutely key. Um, and that's something that I actually used to coach on for a number of years before we opened up our company now was um, on-camera confidence coaching, meaning how can you build up that confidence on camera? It starts by being very clear and a concise communicator. And so it's um, that if you're a great communicator, speaking is actually one of the highest paid skill sets out there, period. So then if you're a great communicator, mark you can literally market anything you want in the world and create a business from it. Thank you. Did that answer your question? Okay. Thank you. Yes. My question is about the fourth item she mentioned. I think it was the business system. Proven system. The proof. Proven, proven system. Yeah, can you speak a bit more about that? The proven system. You said something about either you either you build your system or you follow the hype. Yeah, part of it. Can you please elaborate on that last point that you made on the proven system? Is that what's proven? Proven, proven. proven system. Can you elaborate yes. on that? Absolutely. So the proven system part is something that it, everybody should want to um, either learn from or ideally create. What does that mean? A proven system just means what you're doing, the system that you're operating in for your business has success. So the, the, the framework, the system, the, what your business is operating out of has success. So most people, when they get started, they want to go follow somebody else's proven system to be able to maybe adopt some of those principles so then they can have success in their business as well. One of the things that we offer our women is that inside of our company, we have a proven system that they can follow. So when they follow that system, we can't guarantee results, but we can show them you can definitely get results if you follow that system and you have the consistency, the time, and the coachability. So you got to ask yourself what you're doing now, the system that you're in, uh, whether you're building it yourself or maybe you have a mentor or a coach that you're paying to be able to show you how to build out a system it's it's vital to create that because every business needs a system you can create a business and make money literally from anything but if you don't have a system on how things run 
the, the framework on, you know, being able to take somebody from a, a lead to getting into your business to be able to, to help them in whatever area that you want them to. Um, without a system, you actually really don't have a business at all. You just have people who bought something and now they're just kind of waiting for you to give them guidance. So hopefully that makes sense. So it's like if you don't have a system to be able to create that successful business plan, then find somebody who does have a proven system that has something that you want and go learn from them. And be able to, or even plug into the system that they have. Because a lot of people, they have great ideas, they have great, like, oh, I wanna be able to do this, I wanna make money this way, that way. But you gotta be able to have a system to be able to make it work. So, and, and, when I, and I know that's kind of general, um, as far as like a specific system, that's where I like to encourage people, go research and find people who have what it is that you want. One of the things we help our women with is a lot of them have never created a successful business before. So they can come in, adopt our proven system and be able to create that income that they want to create. Or if you have a specific business that you want to create, find somebody that's in that field, go look and see what they do, reach out to them, get mentorship coaching from them, and then help them, they can help you be able to build up that proven system for you so that you can take your idea and actually turn it into a, a business that works and that is sustainable. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Molly, for your time. We really appreciate it. Can we all give a Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be able to um, just pour in any way that I can. So thank you so much for inviting me today. Thank you. And are there any last minute comments or advice that you would like to share with everyone before you log off for the day? Uh, sure, I'll briefly just say, like, just give yourself a pat on the back for showing up and being able to be like, you know what, I'm going to take a step forward to uh, learn something new today. And whether it's something that I shared or somebody else shares later on today, just have an open heart and an open mind. Because sometimes we can get caught up in, I've heard that before, but sometimes we can hear it in a different perspective, in a different way, if we're open and coachable to learning something new. Because there's always, there's always a different frame of mind, a different, you know, like day and time where we can be able to absorb something which is the exact thing that we need. So just remaining to be open and be coachable being a student is going to, you know, get you to go far in life. So uh, thank you so much for having me and I hope all of you have a very blessed day. Thank you. Okay, well everyone that concludes all of our sessions for today. Um, we just want to thank you all for coming out and we hope that you in some way through one of the sessions or the other or from each of the sessions were able to receive strategies or tools to help you not just now in life but also in the future so to close us out we are going to have our main host Phoebe come and conclude <laughs> time I always have something to say but you know <clears throat> we said it all all what you have done today <laughs> I'm out of work sorry <laughs> <laughs> but just to tell you thank you thank you for this moment all of you guys have made this moment so special and like I said it's more than just a conference you can testify it it's a transformative moment it's I believe that none of you guys is still the same. I know that you have received something that would impact your life and you will be able also to share it with others to also impact their lives as well. And that's how we will maximize our potential. That's why how we will create that cool legacy that will last from ages to ages. Really, it's a time for a change. It's a time to take action. It's a time to make an impact where we are. And I believe that's why what you will do once you step out of this place remember when i was starting my presentation i said that my deep desire is that when we wrap up the session it's not just a normal meeting it's not just to have fun but it's that after this meeting you will go back and you will follow you will follow those steps the process of discovering your purpose if you don't know if you haven't mastered yet you can get my book i have written how i did it 
I have written all my story, exactly the step that I took. It's so practical. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it right now. And for those that do business, breaking boundaries and as a multilingual entrepreneur, I gave you everything, all of the tools. And if you have more questions, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to him. You can reach out to all of those that are here, Mr. Obi, Auntie Adawe, and all of those that are here. Once again, thank you for making this moment so special. But the most important thing is to go and practice what we have done right here. And I will give you like the next day, I believe it will be November 4th, that will be like a following of this one. And I believe I will receive a lot of testimonials that we will have people say, okay, PB, we went in this first event, that's how we will be transformed. And this is what we did, this is the result that we have done. Thank you so much. So again, thank you everybody for coming. We are just going to have um, some time to take photos with one another and again continue to network. Um, we have some very seasoned professionals in the room, so feel free to talk um, to them and gain some wisdom from them. Also, please feel free to grab some more sandwiches, snacks. Um, and 